Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm going to teach you how to use Meta AI Image Generator, Meta Imagine Full Tutorial. As you can see right here, this is Meta AI. I know you're familiar with Meta for Facebook and Instagram, but right now it has released its first AI or artificial intelligence. But just as a disclaimer, this is not yet available all throughout the world. I think it's only available for the US and some countries. For UK and Asia, it's not yet available. Now you might ask me, how can I access it? I'm currently using a VPN. Just making sure that I am currently in the United States as a VPN, it will work out. Now I'm not quite sure how long will this method or workaround will work, but that is the way and how to access this one. So you'll first notice that there are a lot of going on here, ideas, writing, etc. But the first thing I want you to take note of is you can use Meta AI even without logging in. Please pay your attention on the left lower corner. You'll see right here that I need to log in first, but I can simply ask anything even without logging in. So the difference between not logging in and logging in, of course, is that number one, you cannot really save whatever you type here. The conversations, the prompts will not be saved. Number two, if you're not logged in, you cannot generate images. For example, if I click on that one, Paint the Detective in Fedora and Trenchcut, you'll see please log in to generate images. So for new conversation, you cannot really generate images or ask personal questions or deep dive questions there. There is a limit regarding asking conversations. So for this video, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to log in and I'll get back to you once I'm in. So welcome back to the video. Right now I'm currently logged in as you can see right there. I have used my dummy Google account. So let's get started right here. For the new conversation, I just want to let you know that you can write, create ideas, have fun, imagine, learn, and support. So, another thing to take note of on Meta AI is that you can check real-time data. What I mean by that is, for example, we're going to ask what's the weather right now in Miami. For example, on this one, what is the weather like right now in Miami, Florida? As you can see right there, I am asking what is the weather as of the moment in Miami or Miami, Florida. So right now, the Miami or Florida is partly cloudy with no precipitation, a wind speed of 16 miles, and so on and so forth. With that being said, you'll see a lot of buttons here, and you have to check them later on. I'll explain how it works. Anyway, I want to share also this button where you can copy content to clipboard. You can paste it now everywhere you like. For example, I want to open my Microsoft Word LCU once inside. So this is going to be my Microsoft Word, right? I can paste everything here as it is. Or, for example, I want to paste it in a special case. I want to paste it on text only, merge formatting, or even keep source formatting. So I can still have those citations. For example, how it looks like from the beginning, it will still be there. But if you're just going to use it for a Word document, I suggest go on Keep Text Only. And there we have it. It's a pretty useful tool on transferring and merging some documents from one to another. Next up, well, let's talk about this one. I'm going to ask Meta to give me news about AGI or something this week. So I'm going to click on answer right now because I'm looking for very hard to find answers. And I'm going to really test Meta to its limits. So what we're looking for is going to be links. As you can see right there, we have sources. Some additional information regarding the topic. For example, if Meta cannot really answer it fully, if you click on view sources, you'll open up this tab. There's going to be another Google account or Google a link regarding AGI. As you can see right here, this is the new link of AGI. Going back to Meta, also if you want to go back on your conversations, as I mentioned earlier, if you logged in, you can go back. You can simply click on Lagos blog, like so. Click on Threads right there. You can click on it over there and go back on the conversations you have. So that being said, I'm going to click on Start New Conversation right there. Open this up. Go for Lagos blog. There we have it. Now let's start it a little bit more complicated. Write me a simple Python code. Easy as that. So the most famous code I think for Python is hello world with that one. And here is the basic code. I can simply copy it right there, paste it to Python or any other platform for coding and you have your hello world portfolio or code. 
So enough about new conversations out there because you can really try them out. How about let's go to the topic of the tutorial, Imagine. So I want to try how powerful the image generation tool of Meta. For example, basically, I'm going to type in paint a detective. Let me see the process here. It will took around two minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, here's our result. We have, I think, four. One of which is going to be detective in a fedora in a trench coat. Pretty awesome, right? So you'll have an option on the below section to edit, regenerate, or animate. So I'm going to click on regenerate now to see a different result. And as you can see right here, Meta AI is for free. And if you click on edit options right there, basically it will ask you what changes you'd like to make. Make it in a day or make the background daylight or something like that. Click on enter. I'm going to see if Meta AI can really change the background of what I have right now. Because currently I think everything is on nighttime. And let's see if it make it daytime. Perfect. Pretty awesome, right? It's really good. And the last option right there is animate. If you click on animate right now, I think this will take around five minutes or so. So here we have it. This is the animate option. Again, guys, it's pretty awesome. Everything is upscaled from the beginning, changing it from nighttime to daytime and animating it. It's really awesome right there. Oh, of course, you can click on that button right there to download with no problem at all. You can download multiple times, but if you don't want to download multiple times, of course, you can do so individually. Let's try one more for the sake of discussion. I'm gonna type in a Dodge Charger, colored red with or white stripes in the middle. Something like that. Click on enter. I wanna see how powerful this is and it will still take around two minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, here's our images. If you're not familiar with it or if you're not satisfied with it, of course you can regenerate. So if you regenerate, you'll have an option to see the previous one. And the second one right there, or second options are still here. Again, guys, if you want to edit, for example, make it in London, something like that. I want to see if how it looks like in London. Same goes with the previous one. You can check your previous generation each time you make an edit. Same goes with this. Here's the one in London. And if you click on animate right now, we're going to see how it looks like animated. And there we have it. It's like a short clip. Please pay your attention on this one. Flames are right there. It's drifting, moving, and animated. Pretty powerful tool. Given that everything here is for free as of now, please check it out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.